Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. We're going to go up to Springfield, Massachusetts, and break down all of the insanity that broke out last week. It's always been, or at least for the last 25 years, it's been a family with a lot of drama. Um, They're like the New England version of Philadelphia. And uh, things were dormant there for a little bit, but now... The drama's back in full force. Mob mutiny in Springfield. We're going to break it all down for you right now. So last Monday, there was a takeover uh, at the Springfield Mafia headquarters called the Our Lady of Mount Carmel Society Social Club. It's in the South End. It's attached to the church. Um, It's not a normal mob social club because like anybody in Springfield can belong to it, but it's always been controlled by the mafia, you know, dating back almost a hundred years, whoever runs the mob in Springfield controls the club. Uh, For the last seven years, the club has been controlled by a man by the name of Albert, the animal Calvinisi, a very um, feared presence in the Western Massachusetts underworld of the last 30 years, extortionist, loan shark, Um, a guy that made his bones in terms of notoriety uh, in the area in the 90s and 2000s working for the the Chabellis, Big Al Bruno, and Bingy Arrolata. He kind of took the control of that crew just by attrition, and from what I'm being told, it was never really a sanctioned administration. It was never blessed. and over the last couple of years, some of the mob powers in New York and Boston, I'm told, uh, became upset with what was going on there. And then last Monday, his cousin and his uncle, uh, Ralphie Santanello, Amadeo Santanello, uh, you know, OGs from the Springfield underworld, also guys that came up under the Chabellis and Al Bruno and worked for Bingy, um, they took the club over. Albert got into a car accident about a month ago, has been away from the club. Um, The men broke both of his legs. And last Monday, Ralphie and uh, Amadeo, who aren't allowed on the club grounds right now, um, and we'll get into that in a second, from across the street, they led a mutiny of their loyalists, taking over the club by force, changing the locks. Um, And then the next day, they held a meeting of the club members. They were... They voted the old administration out, voted the new administration in. When I say administration, I'm not talking about mafia. I'm talking about the the club. I know it's confusing and gets conflated and nonetheless. Uh, And then eventually Amadeo and Ralphie will be, uh, I believe tomorrow, the next day, they'll have the uh, police protection order lifted and they will be allowed to return to the club. Their Amadeo's um, nephew, uh, banned him and his son from the club in a big fallout. Uh, they were all kind of running the crew together in the early 2010s. And then Ralphie Santanello went to prison and Albert Calvinisi eventually pushed out his cousin, Ralphie and his uncle uh, got them shelved uh, leveraging some bad blood between them and between Amadeo uh, and the Genovese crime family. Everybody knows that Springfield is a satellite branch of the Genovese in New York City in the Bronx. And Albert had control of the club, Uh, but that's not the case anymore. Uh, The Santanelles have the club. They have the mafia crew in Springfield now. I'm told this all, uh, the wheels were were starting to go in motion in this thing uh, in the last couple months. I'm told Ralphie Santanello has a button now got made in the Genovese crime family at some point in the last month or two, possibly in the last couple of weeks. And that has uh, prompted the takeover that he now has the blessing and the sanctioning of the Genovese in the Bronx. Him and his dad had to get off the shelf uh, to, to, to maneuver this. And again, if you've been following OG podcast, if you've been following gangster report, you know, the story, um, Amadeo, who is, you know, the elder statesman outside of Mario Fiore. Uh, he's the elder statesman of the mob in Springfield. has been around forever. Uh, he's, you know, kind of like a conciliary type figure, very sharp, smart guy, great athlete. Um, but in a lapse of judgment, took a photo with a guy that had been an informer, a guy that had taken down the help take down the Genovese mob administration, send them all to prison. 
uh, there was a photo taken of Amadeo and him uh, together smiling that got posted on social media. Some of the uh, bosses that were got that had gotten incarcerated, you know, hit the roof. Those guys got shelved for a couple of years. Calvinista used it to his advantage. Uh, but the bosses that were upset are gone. The, the main guy, little Artie uh, Nigro is actually dead. And the Santinellos are back in full force. Amadeo seems to have nine lives. Uh, he's a guy that's been kind of banished on two separate occasions and it and has come back stronger than ever. Uh, first, he had a falling out with Big Al Bruto in the 90s. They had been best friends uh, for, for a while. And then at, at the when Big Al kind of took power uh, and some of the power went to his head, uh, Amadeo had to go down to Florida. Then when Bingy take, uh, took over from Big Al, uh, he brings Amadeo back as kind of his conciliary. And then Albert, that's his uncle, you know, he, using him in that same capacity until Ralphie goes to prison and Albert has him uh, put out to pasture, we thought. But I'm told that the powers that be in New York look at the Santinellos as a way to get this ship back in order. Uh, things have gone kind of haywire in the last decade or so, starting with uh, uh, Bingy's cooperation deal. But there's been a couple things that have really upset the guys in New York City and Boston uh, in terms of the way that Albert's been handling things. First of all, he never went and got the blessing of the Genovese to take over the, the crew, I'm told. Um, and he he allowed Bingy back in the club when Bingy came out of prison and, and turned down witness protection, came back to Springfield. He did a interview at the club. That's the picture of him in front of the club. Uh, did an interview at the club talking about Big Al Bruno's assassination, which he was convicted of, of playing a role in the murder conspiracy. Um, on club grounds, he also helped put away all those Genovese shot callers. This upset guys on the west side. Uh, Albert was letting Latin kings, uh, very powerful Latin kings in New England, hold meetings their weekly kind of church meetings uh, at the club for some type of rent. Um, that didn't go over real well with, with the bosses in New York, uh, in Boston. And then there was this issue of a personal protection order that was put out to keep the Santinellos away from the club. Uh, Ralphie got out of prison at some point in the last five years, uh, just got off paper a year ago. Um, and they haven't been allowed to come back to the club. Uh, I want to just end this with what were kind of the final chips to fall here. Um, Calvinisi has had some issues with Boston, and you don't really think of Boston when it comes to Springfield as much as you think about with the Genovese. But I guess Calvinisi, when he was in prison serving time for loan sharking in the late 2000s, early 2010s, he had snubbed some of the Boston guys, specifically Big Cheese Denunzio, who's the boss, uh, and didn't really want to hang out with them or spend time with them or socialize with them. Uh, that didn't sit well. And then I'm told there's been two meetings uh, between the Patriarchas, uh, one uh, their Boston faction and one their Providence faction, with the Genovese um, over the last couple months, one taking place. Uh, at Patsy's, uh, uh, Rigoletto on Arthur Avenue in the Bronx, and I'm not sure where the other one took place. Uh, but this, some of this is coming from Boston. They they don't like what was going on in Springfield. It was a bad look for everybody. We still don't know what Albert's response is going to be. As as I've said before, he almost died in a car accident uh, last month. He was already exposed, and this just gave the Santinellos the opening that they were looking for. I would still expect Albert will probably have some type of response here. I don't know what it is. Hopefully it's not violent. Um, we don't want anyone to get hurt, but only time will tell. But that's what's going on right now. The Santinellos have control of the mafia crew in Springfield, Massachusetts. They are running the Genovese Western Mass satellite branch. And for Ralphie Santinello, this is from what I, from what I understand, this has been the dream uh, for quite a while. And he's finally achieved it. So uh, long live the new king, Ralphie Santanello and his dad, Amadeo, in power in Springfield, Massachusetts. I'll, give you a, I'll be giving you all the updates uh, as this thing progresses over the next 
couple weeks, uh, OG Pod Scott Bernstein, I'm out.